Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today we're going to tie Mr. Tedrick's Froggy Fly. The hook that I have in the vise is a number two streamer hook. The thread I'm going to use, I'm just going to use some heavy yellow thread. And we're going to put a base of thread down. We're not going to worry a whole lot towards the front. We don't even need these to have touching turns. But we're going to bring it back to right where it's going to hang at the point of the hook. That's just about there. Take a couple more wraps back. I'm going to go ahead and remove that excess. Now to start off, I'm going to use some red. This is bucktail. And I'm going to take a clump, a eh, small clump. Maybe about the size of an ink pen cartridge. When you have it all crunched together, go ahead and cut that off. I'm just going to make a little bit, a little hot butt on it. I'm going to tie that so it's hanging off maybe at half an inch or so. Going to tie this in. I'm going to wrap this up probably halfway, maybe a little less than that. What I want to do is fold it back and have some of it sticking out the back besides. So we have the we have the tips and we have the butt sticking out the back. And what this is going to do is this is going to help keep the legs separated. And pop, pop those couple off there. Now I'm going to take, I have some crazy legs here, and I'm going to take some, these are olive and black crazy legs. I'm going to take a pair of those. I'm going to just snip off those melted parts that are holding it together. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap this around the thread and bring it right on top. And I can actually put a few wraps even take this forward just a little bit just a little more security and then I'm going to fold that back again and I'm going to leave them there for now so I could get the length now I'm going to take I have schloppen feathers I have some nice uh, dyed grizzly dyed olive schloppen. I'm going to take a pair of them and we want these to be yeah, maybe twice the length of the hook. Just going to go ahead and cut them off but I'm leaving all of that. Trim that down a bit to make the crew cut but I'm going to leave that I'm gonna put them convex sides together so that when I tie them on they're gonna split just take those feathers and split them on there that's even actually a little bit too long I'm gonna go ahead and trim these down a little bit further that's better so this is about one and a half the length of the hook. I'm not even going to give it the crew cut again. Just going to tie these in. And you want to get these on the sides. And then I'm going to wrap forward. And I'm going to wrap all of this in. Because we're going to super glue our foam on, and you want to have what this is going to do is give the 
super glue something to grab to instead of just a bare hook or a threaded hook. I'm going to trim that off. And finish that wrap. Now I'm going to bring my thread back. And I'm going to take another schlop and feather. I'm going to take this. I'm going to pull all this stuff off the back. Let's go ahead and clean that up. That gives me a nice handle. But I'm going to tie this in from the tip. And once again, I'm going to wrap all of that in. Just a few wraps. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to I'm going to try to get all of the hackle to one side. Just run your fingers down the hackle. Then I'm going to basically wrap all of this almost in place. And it doesn't even really matter. I mean, it doesn't have to be pretty at this point. And of course, you can stop where you want if you want just that much. I like I'm I want a pretty decent amount. You know, you you just gauge it to the poppers that you have, how much you want on there. And we're making these nice and tight wraps. See, when we get these longer ones, they're going to nice lay back nice. And then when I come get all of it in, I'm going to go ahead and tie that down. Don't lose the hook, don't lose the feather. And I can go ahead and break that off. Now at this point I can go ahead and trim my rubber legs in the rear to the, to the length I want. And I'm going to have them make them about two inches long. They're going to be just inside the legs. Now I'm going to go ahead and give this a whip finish. We only need a couple because we're going to super glue now. And the first thing I'm going to do, this is going to be the width of it. So you can see it's going to go into the feathers there a little bit. But before I do that, this is going to be the back side. And I'm going to cut an angle there. I got some curved scissors, but probably better just to turn your scissors as you're doing it. And I'm going to take the front, and the open part is going to be on top, so remember that. And we're going to give that a little bit of a trim there, so that you have something like this. Now, to add a little more flotation to it, I'm going to take just a little scrap. I'm going to measure it to the length of the, to length there. So I'm going to cut about one quarter of this piece off. I'm going to take my super glue, and this is mainly going to be glued on the bottom, so I turn my hook over. Get some glue on there, close that up quick so it doesn't dry out. And I'm going to put this on. Make sure that you leave the eye open. And hold that in place. I'm getting it on my fingers.
if you wanted to for this one you can actually put a couple wraps of thread around around there I don't believe it's necessary I got a little spot there I'm going to trim that off just try to make it a little bit rounder I'm going to take my super glue again and I'm going to put super glue all over this not too much that it's squeezing out close that up quickly I'm going to take my finished one get that sized up right on there and keep it on top make sure that eye is sticking out go ahead and squeeze that on there the top is coming apart a little bit I'm gonna put, a, put some glue right in on on that now I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple of cuts here make this a little rounder and I shorten it a little bit that back side nipped a little bit of the, of the hackles now I'm going to go ahead and put eyes on there and I'm going to use these are six millimeter eyes but before we do that we're going to take another small piece I'm going to take another small piece and I'm going to put a couple small pieces right on there and then I'm going to put my eyes right on them I just squeeze them on in place put that on nice thing about foam is you can keep cutting you can keep shaping it like this you see I got it a little bit messed up on the top I just take my scissors and straighten that out put my eye on my bodkin needle put a drop of glue on the spot take that eye put it right in there hold that a second or two and then I'm gonna get the other side get that on my bodkin needle you only got a couple of seconds to get make sure that you get it lined up properly and my fingers sticking to it here you can see on this side I got some uh, glue on there I'm going to put some acetone on a q-tip and take that off but first I'm gonna go ahead and color this maybe put a stripe down the bottom I'm gonna get this back section here
I'm going to take a black one and I'm going to put some dots on it. I'm going to take my acetone with the Q-tip and I'm going to take that little fingerprint off there. Another thing you can do with the with the acetone on the Q-tip is blend these colors in. Just kind of it almost looked like it's been airbrushed. We got that yellow haze or that yellow color coming through. Now I'm going to take my leg puller, just take a needle, and this is 4x tip it, and you tie a knot on the end. And I'm going to stick it in, make it come out. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to take another pair. Of the crazy legs one two split them apart I left one side together so I can keep the length pretty good I put them through the loop Try to even them out on the ends. Then we're going to push this through. And then we're going to pull the legs through. Now I'm going to pull the legs tight as I'm pulling them because that makes them skinnier. Then when you, once you get them through and if you pull them tight you can adjust where you want them easier. Yeah, we've got a little bit more on that. There we go. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this loop. Get my tippet material out of the way. You go ahead and break this one apart. And then you can trim these to the length you want, which these are actually pretty decent length right there. And here we have Mr. Tedrick's Froggy Fly. If you watch him, W.B. Tedrick on the YouTube, you see him using these in his pond. He catches fish with them all the time. And I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. If you'd like to purchase any flies from me, go to etsy.com slash shop slash the Flyman Gym. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.